What's up, Gundam Kitchen family? It's a chef coming from the Gundam Kitchen. And we got a nice little shipment in, getting ready for tomorrow's build session and potluck. So, starting at 12 noon, all day, come by, hang out, and build. Hopefully with a couple other people. And I'm sure it'll start racking in around 5 o'clock when the potluck begins. So, come through for that. Hang out, show off your work from uh, the previous 30 days since the last potluck and talk to some people, see what they're doing, see how they did it. Great learning experience and good way to make new friends. So one of the cool things that came in here otherwise and the PG RX 78 and GP04, which I haven't seen for a minute. What we really are looking at is these turbo dorks. First of all, hilarious name. And this line of paint seems to have a lot of fun with uh, names like Red Rum. Uh, what's this one? Hot Lava or Ground is Lava. Cool Ranch. I kept trying to figure out why they call it Cool Ranch, but I guess it's because it looks like a Cool Ranch Doritos bag. Very nice metallic blue. And I've seen a lot about these online. I wanted to test them out myself. Didn't get the full line yet. Just wanted to see how they worked out for you guys. And so I already tried two of them, and they do work really well. Uh, of course, I was in a rush and didn't read all the directions, so I sprayed the first one on the first coat before I, I read the directions, which were clearly on the bottle. And I went a little bit heavy, but it's all good. Hopefully this will focus soon. Let's try this. There we go. So hopefully you can catch that. It's going from like a yellow to a green. A little bit of red in there. So nice little color shift going on there. That color is called Afterburner. And then we have this, which goes from a blue to a reddish purple color, which probably catching on the edges. A little bit of green in there too. And that color is called 3D Glasses. So definitely check these out. The instructions are pretty simple if you read them. Uh, shake well, obviously. Works best on uh, when applied on a black undercoat, which is pretty common to aim metallic. And what I didn't read was uh, paint three to five thin layers with an airbrush or hand brush. So I laid my first layer on this one a little heavy. And the results weren't too bad, but I think it's, that's why it's not real. You can kind of see the black underneath still in there. Kind of separated a little bit. But this one definitely came out a little smoother. So definitely got to practice getting those nice thin coats down. But the stuff is airbrush ready. And I would assume it would hand brush well too. Because it's nice and thin. So very nice sparkle in there though. So if you're looking for something sparkly, this is the way to go. Alright, so definitely check those out. Probably sell a bunch of these this weekend. You want to check these out because they are getting a lot of uh, love on the internet at the moment. So Turbo Dork, check them out in the store. All right, catch you guys this weekend. See you. Peace.